Thanks, Josh. I uh, am always reluctant to uh, endorse and contest the Democratic primaries, and I, I never uh, endorse based on political calculation. I always endorse based on the person. And that's why I'm here today. I've interacted with Joe in, in, in many ways over the years, and A, his intellect. He is such a bright guy. B, his ability to articulate an issue. I've seen him recently articulate his views on Marcellus Shale and the need to tax and the need to save our forests. He can really articulate an, an issue. But I think there's a certain genuineness about Joe, there's a, and that's lacking in this institution. I, I think uh, uh, when Joe tells you something, you can believe it. And I think I just have a feeling in dealing with Joe, I, just a sense of honesty and integrity. And I think if we can get someone like Joe into the governor's office, uh, this Commonwealth will be a, a better place. So I wholeheartedly endorse Joe Hunt. You know, it's amazing with all of the, uh, the women's groups who are rallying behind Joe to see all these guys up here. I'm so glad that Barb McElvain-Smith is with us and, and is here to talk a little bit about her support for Joe Hoffman. Barb? Thank you. Yes, I'm Barb McElvain-Smith from the 156th District in Chester County, and I am here to definitely support my friend Joe Hoffman. I've known Joe for many years, and uh, he is a guy that has integrity, he has a great work ethic, and he also has the experience that we need. He's got experience in all levels of government, and you can trust Joe. When Joe tells you something, you can believe it. I agree with uh, Representative Vitale. But today, I really am so thrilled to be here. And uh, we've been running around from committee meeting to committee meeting, so I'm huffing and puffing, but go Joe, yay! <laughs> colleague from, uh, Abing, from representing the Abington area in the State Senate, Senator Leanna Washington, uh, was going to be here to bat cleanup and talk about her support for Joe. Unfortunately, I believe she's been called away for legislative business. So it is really my high honor uh, to be able to introduce a, a, a woman who is going to speak to uh, Joe's attributes and, and his acclaim, uh, Kate Michaelman. Kate Michaelman was the president of NARAL, but Kate Michaelman symbolizes, I think, the hope symbolizes the compassion uh, and the belief and, and the important role uh, that women in progressive politics play in our Democratic Party today and indeed in our Commonwealth today. The commitment she has made, the contributions that she has made to so many across this Commonwealth uh, during her time in NARAL and since, I think is a real testament to her. And the fact that she is here lining up behind Joe Huffle is no small matter. Uh, we are grateful for her support. Ladies and gentlemen, Kate Michael.